Good morning and welcome to Morning Moments. We have another wonderful special guest uh, with us this morning, uh, June Colson, or as known in the industry as June Bug. June Bug is, was the 2020 Na uh, Nashville Clean Comedy Champion. And uh, I am so thrilled to have her on our show today. June, uh, welcome. Uh, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you so much, Andy, for having me here today. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got in comedy, or tell me what, what, uh, tell me a, a little bit about uh, the June bug. The June bug. Yeah. Um, so I am a Christian comedian. I'm from Bowling Green, Kentucky. And um, I actually got into comedy as a ministry. Uh, it wasn't something that I woke up one morning and decided I was going to be a comedian. I um, was actually sitting in church one day and the Holy Spirit just laid it on my heart that um, that he wanted me to write. And then later he revealed to me that what I was writing was comedy and that I was going to be able to use that as a ministry. And so that was, um, that was 2017. And I uh, found out that there was the Christian Comedy Association was having a meeting, um, having their conference in Nashville, Tennessee, which is an hour from my home. And I drove to Nashville with one joke written, which was horrible. And uh, <laughs> it was really bad. And I kept it to myself as long as I could. And I just, I just met Christians. I met um, some of the most amazing and kind and talented people I'd ever met in my life. And I tell you what was interesting was walking into the CCA and meeting these Christian comedians. I, it was the first time I felt at home with a group of people, you know, it was just people that made sense to me. Like I, I, it was, uh, I think I, I heard someone say it was like being a rabbit on a planet where there were no rabbits. And suddenly you go to this Island and there's, there's bunnies everywhere. Right. Yeah. And, and, and it was like, oh, I'm not the only bunny on the planet. And that's how I felt. I was this uh, high energy, um, creative person who thought of things in stories constantly and illustrations. And suddenly there were people around that I made sense to, and they made sense to me. So, so yeah, God was like, I want you to use this. Um, I grew up in, in low-income housing and government housing. I got a daddy's name. His name is Hot Dog, and my mama's name is Mo. My sister is Bobby Joe. I got a little brother named Dewey. And just um, a year and a half ago, I found out I have a sister in Indiana, and her name is Leslie. And, you know, it's, there's always something interesting happening in my family. And God said, oh, you know, you can be real and you can be raw. And I've never really been afraid to, to tell people my story. And the most beautiful part of my story is um, just, just having the love of Christ and, and knowing that, uh, you know, that he died for me and that I don't have to be perfect and that I can tell that to other people that, that, you know, they can be loved by him too. He loves them enough to have died for them. So, um, I don't do comedy with the Bible on my hip. I don't do a lot of church jokes, you know, uh, a lot of Christian comedians, the, they'll base their comedy on, um, the church kind of culture or Christian culture but I didn't grow up with a lot of that culture in my life. And that's, that's kind of not how, how I do it. I just kind of tell the stories of my dad having fireworks shows and catching his face on fire and you know having the back of the El Camino with $1,500 worth of illegal explosives when we couldn't pay the electric bill. Right. And, and there are people who relate to that. And, and I think that he just put me kind of in place to go to places where people could be around a Christian that they, they felt like maybe understood where they come from and they didn't, they don't feel judged or threatened by me. And um, man, it's just opened some interesting doors. So yeah, that's, that's kind of how I got into comedy. You know, when, uh, as a psychiatric nurse, there's a lot of families that we've been around and, and after they leave, we, we say things like, boy, they put the word fun and dysfunctional there, don't they? <laughs> yes, that's my family. I mean, it's real fun in our dysfunction. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it's those life lessons though that bring laughter to us and in this time people need to laugh don't they yes yeah they do they for sure do you know and and, and i think you know just recently i heard someone say the verse the joy of the lord is our strength and i've heard that verse a thousand times you know probably ten thousand times 
but it was the first time I heard it and I really went, laughter is strength. Joy is strength, you know, I, and the, it's the joy of the Lord is our strength and how in these times that we've been going through, you know, um, at the very beginning, I lost my sense of humor for a little bit. I didn't feel funny. I didn't want to write something funny. My, my family are nurses. My brother is a police officer. My husband is a fire chief. You know, they were all essential employees who were suddenly, you know, all this talk of frontline and, and the war against this. And, you know, it was just dark and scary. And, um, and I didn't, I, I didn't feel funny and I definitely felt weak, you know, and how, how often people do say, oh my gosh, we need laughter. We need laughter. And it is strength. It truly is strength. It was the first time I heard it and really went, ah, oh, it's not just relief. It gives us strength. You know, the joy of the Lord and laughter, it conquers fear. There are times that I've been so afraid and then someone makes me laugh. And for a second, I'm not scared anymore. You know, you know, the, 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 the word, the Bible is, has been there all the time for us. Mm -hmm. But when it's matched with our experiences and our troubles and trials that we go through, that's when the Bible becomes truly life to us. Yes. And that one scripture became more than just words. It became life to you yes. about the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? When people would say the living word, I, I didn't understand that when I was younger, you know. Yeah. And the more, the stronger my relationship became with Christ and the more I got into the living word, the more I did realize this is alive. This is, you know, this is his word and, and it does it. There's nothing I've ever gone through now that I can't go to the word and find what I need in that moment, you know. Where can people go to hear about you and hear your comedy? Where, where do you usually perform? What area, re region do, are you... Well, you know, of course, with COVID, it's been uh, it's been a little bit different. I have been able to do uh, just recently. I was able to perform it uh, in outside of Nashville at Praise and Harmony TV, which was amazing. Um, and it was a live show, and it was probably the most fun I've had. I almost ever, you know, the audience, it was one of those where they walked in and, and they, you could hear the energy. Everybody was ready to laugh, you know, and I could have told a knock, knock joke and they would have fell out of their seat. It was that great. But, um, I've been doing some zoom shows. Uh, you know, I have on Wednesdays, I actually do a live every Wednesday at four o'clock. Now it's not comedy, ha ha comedy. It's me telling true raw stories of my life growing up, you know, in, in impoverished and with in mental illness and alcoholism in my family. And so that's been a big thing for me, but also my friend, Michelle Van Dusen and I, we're um, doing a podcast now called laugh support. So, um, so you can definitely listen to that soon. It'll be coming out probably next month. Good. And Good. so you can hear kind of some of my comedy and, and stories of my journey, but I, I do church shows and and, um, you know, comedy clubs and those type of things, uh, whenever possible right now. Yeah. So, and the website, which I'm going to be posting on the comment section, you keep it, you, you show where you're going to be at and your, your schedule. I, well, I will be, yes. You so, will be when you start yes, going back. I, I'm working with a lady right now to rebuild my website. And that is something that's kind of fallen to the wayside sure. because just everything that's been going on. So she's going to help me get it. Good up to date. Most people have reached out to me through Facebook and Instagram and those kind of things. And so I really just, I, I really neglected it, but, but they can definitely reach out to me through that website, but soon okay. it'll be more up to date and let people Good. know where I'm going to be and how Good. they can find me. So more important than anything else. And I say this quite often with uh, performers on more important than anything else. I, I, I think June needs your prayer support too. Yes. And as she's out there, uh, pray for her that God will put her in the right place at the right time mm -hmm. to meet people's needs uh, and, and meet this wonderful need for laughter. Uh, I want to encourage you not only to be praying for, for June, but to pass this interview on to other folks that you may know. Maybe they need to hear uh, this interview. Maybe they need the encouragement either through the Facebook or or uh, interview that you're seeing this morning, or through the YouTube, this in this same interview that I've placed on YouTube. So please pass that on, and uh, 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 keep her in your prayers. Any any closing thoughts uh, before we close? 
Well, it's just been an absolute pleasure talking to you and, and getting to know a little bit more about you. Um, you know, uh, right now, I, I think a lot of times you, you'll see what you're looking for, you yeah. know, and if you're looking for the darkness in the world, if you're looking for the sadness, it's not hard to find, but if you're looking for the joy and, and the things where, where God is really at work, you're going to find those like with people like you, Andy, who are doing things. I, I have seen on social media, more Christians just being bold and coming out and talking about our faith. When you go online and there's, and there's live church services and music and worship and all these things, it may feel like a dark time, but if you look for the light, you're going to find it. Yeah. You know, it, it's everywhere. It's in programs like this. My friend Rhonda Corey, you interviewed her show. It's all positive and love. And, um, and I just say, you know, that, that as Christians, we, we've got to, we've got to lift each other up. Like you said, pray for each other and support these positive programs that are going on right now where, where people are really are trying to be a light in a dark place. So, and thank you so much for having me on here. You're welcome. And thank you, June. And I want to thank each and every one of you out there that's listening to this. Thank you for joining me for morning moments and uh, keep coming back and may God richly bless you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.